Hey guys, welcome to my channel What's Cooking with Arpita. Today I am sharing the recipe for a classic red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting. In this video, first I will be making the cake layers, then cream cheese frosting or filling and finally assembling the cake and I will be sharing my trick to cut the cake layers without a knife so keep watching. For this we need two and a half cup all-purpose flour, 2 cups sugar, 1 tablespoon cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 teaspoon vinegar, 1 cup buttermilk, 2 large eggs, vanilla extract, some red food color, 1 and half cup oil. In the flour I am adding salt, cocoa powder and baking soda. Stir them together and set it aside. In a mixing bowl I have sugar, I am adding buttermilk. vinegar, adding eggs, and adding oil, and vanilla essence, and just mix them. Now I'm mixing flour mixture and the liquid. Mix it. Now mix your batter to make it smooth and lump free. Now I'm adding food color. I'm using gel food color. I have divided my batter into two 9 inch round pan and I'm going to bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees for a night. After baking about 35 minutes, let it cool at room temperature. For cream cheese frosting, 4 cups powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, 8 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, thick or half cup butter, vanilla extract. In my mixing bowl, I have my cream cheese softened and soft butter. I'm going to cream them together. I'm adding powdered sugar, little by little. Frosting is ready. These are cakes. Cooled complete. Now I am going to assemble the cake. I am going to show you how to slice the cake without knife. Yes, it's possible. I am using just a string. Wrap the string around the cake. In the middle of the height you want to slice. Pull in opposite direction. You can see it is cutting through the cake very easily. And now it's done. Let's pull out the thread and you have two layers of cake. Take your frosting. It's very now I'm placing the second layer. Some more frosting. And cake goes on top. The same way I'm going to cut this. In a layer of icing the top layer of cake and put some icing I am brushing off any crumb I have iced the cake and roughly smoothed the edges you don't need to be perfect and I am using some marshmallow cherries to garnish it 
you can leave it as is. If you like the video, feel free to like, share and comment. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular notification when a video is uploaded. Thanks for watching.